Agricultural film recycling stands for the processing of stretch films, which are heavily contaminated with earth and organic substances. It has occurred that car tires and cotton shafts were found in the film bales. The bales are manually opened. The clamshell loosen up the film sheets and are then fed onto a belt conveyor. A metal detector indicates if large iron and non-iron metals are in the material to prevent damages to downstream equipment. The film is now transported to a chain belt conveyor which transports the material to the first cutting process. A sensor which determines the filling level of the shredder hopper is used as a control element. The one shaft shredder is usually equipped with a stream between 60 to maximum 80 millimeters. A belt conveyor transports the shredded material to the Neuer Herbold pre-wash unit. This drum requires up to 150 cubic meter of water per hour to separate the film from stones and other solid contaminations. The water film stream flows into two Neue Herbel friction washers. These centrifuges rinse the material and discharge the drain water. The following intensive cleaners also separate contaminations and drain the film flakes to enable a pneumatic conveying. A material blowing system transports the film to the Neue Herbel granulator type SM. The granulator is furnished with an exchangeable wear coating. Here the film is cut into flakes of approximately 4 by 4 cm flakes. The cleaned and cut flakes are now transported to the Neue Herbold separation tank. The last remaining contamination, like PVC material, is now separated and discharged. A discharge screw transports the floating particles to the mechanical and thermal drying, while the heavy particles are discharged by a chain belt conveyor. The entire process data is available and adjustable via PLC control. A clearly arranged visualization allows the operation staff to control and adjust the entire recycling process.